Oh, thank you, Mike, for that nice introduction. And I'll add, I was South Carolina born, South Carolina bred. When I'm gone, I'll be South Carolina dead. <laughs> but you really couldn't keep me from this, this place today. This is exciting, it's colorful. And uh, for those of you who are visitors or maybe have forgotten your history in Charleston County, the, it's, it's through Charleston County that, that the uh, Ashley and Cooper Rivers run and, and form the Atlantic Ocean right down there. Y'all know that. <laughs> but uh, as Elizabeth Taylor said to her sixth husband, I won't keep you long. Just a <laughs> few things I want to say. This is really a great day, and uh, the, the people that work here, I, I can, can feel the spirit. You can see it with the red, white, and blue, and the, the, the Comcast is a great company with a great history. Started in Tupelo, Mississippi. That's good. It's a good place, and this uh, state, as uh, Steve, as you said, uh, we, we're on a rampage. Y'all ought to see the people coming through my office, and I mean, they're from all over the world. We have to have interpreters in there to listen to everybody wants to invest. There's something about South Carolina. But I'll tell you, it's, uh, it, it's the port, which is when we de deepen it, it'll go to 52 feet. And we got the money. We put it aside. And it's going to go to 52 feet. New York, New Jersey will be 50. Miami will be 50. Norfolk, Virginia will be 50. We'll be 52. And they say in... 15 or 20 years, the Port of Charleston will be the, along with New York, New Jersey, will be, those will be the two dominant ports on the Atlantic coast. But ladies and gentlemen, we have two inland ports. That's a rail line. Norfolk Southern runs up through Greer, where BMW is, and those cars, you know, they come in, 450,000 are produced. That's one every 61 seconds, if you're counting. And they go expand before too long, like everybody else. And another inland port that we just broke ground uh, for up in Dillon County, which hooks up with, uh, that's uh, CSX, and it'll cross uh, I-95. So no other state has that. We've got plenty of power, plenty of water, the best technical college system, Steve, and as you gentlemen have mentioned, in the whole world, uh, amplified by Red ESC and these other things. Three great research universities that have inventions and new ideas that are just cascading down and creating jobs and uh, opportunities for companies big and little. And it is great to see one like this come in and really settle in in South Carolina. As you know, you're in, you're in a friendly environment. But what it is in South Carolina, of, of all those things, it's what these people tell me, and these, these are big companies like Mercedes and BMW and Bosch and, and, and others that, 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 of course, could go anywhere in, in the whole world. Uh, they say, it's, in the end, it's the people. It's the people of South Carolina that, makes the critic, that make the critical difference. You, you could take the people of South Carolina out of all these magnificent institutions and put somebody else in, it wouldn't be the same thing. And people tell me they can always tell when they're in South Carolina when they're visiting because of the people. They say they don't need to see a sign, they don't need to see a map. Uh, they, for example, they go into a restaurant and order breakfast and between getting their uh, coffee and getting their bill, the waitress will call them honey, sweetie, darling, and dear, and probably <laughs> hug them on the way out the door. There's something different. But I'll tell you, that there's another strain that runs through these people. And it started way back when Charlestown Landing, not far from here, was settled in 1670. And you remember the explorers were coming over before that, Jean Rabot in 1562, and all those people way back, and they were all writing back to what a magnificent place this was with all the natural resources. And of course, they, they're still here. We haven't messed it up. They, they're still here. But the military tradition, which is a grand tradition, there is one that is alive and well in this state, probably is much more than any other state. And I'm reminded that uh, back in, it wasn't too long ago, Fort Jackson, of course, we have seven military bases in South Carolina. And Fort Jackson just uh, had, I think, his 100th uh, birthday. But it, these commanders at Fort Jackson, just as one example, they ro rotate in and out every two years. As you know, they go all over the world, go all over the place. One time we had five commanding generals living in Columbia at the same time. And they're sprinkled all over the state. They can go anywhere but to come back here. 
And also in the Revolutionary War, if anybody remember how many battles and skirmishes were fought in South Carolina? 190, more than any other state. In fact, some folks say this is where it was won. When the British came down and they realized they couldn't stomp these people out, they gave up, went up north, got whooped a couple of times in New England and, and left. You remember the Battle of Cowpens, the Battle of Kings Mountain? Our people will fight when they have to. And today that tradition continues with the reserves, or the National Guard. Our National Guard is always ranked number one in readiness in the country. I think many years, five or six in a row. So this is a, this is a perfect fit for this company. And we're delighted you're here. We look forward to working with you. I'm so proud of the people of South Carolina and what they've accomplished and what we're going to accomplish with you and others that are choosing this place to come put their money down, to put their money where their mouth is. And we are going, I believe, to outpace the rest of the country in economic growth. And with economic growth comes jobs. With jobs comes happiness. The divorce rate down goes down. The marriage rate goes up. <laughs> Everybody gets happy, the children get educated, and I think we can, we can be a model for the rest of the company. So this, for the country, this is a great, great day for South Carolina in behalf of all our 406, uh, uh, no, 4.6 or so million. Welcome, we're glad you're here. Thank you.